Evening everybody. Hi Nick, how are you doing? When I catch your notification I have to tune in. Good, good, good. Uh, back to working on the space mining game tonight after last couple of streams have been various game jams. Uh, I've done a little bit of work on it since I last showed it but I'll show you where it's up to so you can get an idea of what we've got. I've done a little bit more work on the galaxy screen uh, so fly about now <coughs> there are some planets although at the minute you can't interact with those in any way uh, which is one of the things I'm going to add tonight I'm going to add the player's home planet in so and hopefully work on a mechanic for landing hi Teed how are you doing thanks for dropping in and then I've added a little bit of an interactive pop-up menu for when uh, you fly over the asteroid field so you know what type of asteroids they are. At the minute we've only got iron. And then done a little bit of work on the UI. Some basic text for the cargo and for the shield. Uh, there's just sort of a health monitor at the minute which you can see there the, one of the blue bars disappears when you bump into one of the asteroids. Thought that two and a half years I might get by not catching it, but alas, <laughs> it's not that bad luckily. That iron pop-up looks great. Yeah, that's what I've worked on sort of last week. I didn't get round to streaming, but uh, we've got it at the minute when the player dies, you just get thrown back to the galaxy screen and you lose your cargo so when you go back in you're back to zero so i think what i'll work on tonight is adding in uh the player's planet and i may not get around to doing a pop-up for it but if we can at least get it so we can go in i'm pressing a key and i'm thinking don't know if you know the game lunar lander or lander from back in the 80s landed on the planet it's going to be that sort of mechanic I'll just get something to show you what i mean if i can find it i've probably got the name completely wrong found it here uh, we need a big screen shaking explosion yeah there will there will be lots of screen shaking stuff in there but yeah this this sort of thing uh, where you've you've got a ship and you've got to control its descent and there'll be like a landing pad that you have to land on because uh, I wanted it to be lots of these type of old arcade sort of mini games in there so we've got asteroids so landing on planets and stuff is going to be this type of game so I created a I say I created I used a planet generator to create a sprite for the player's home planet so for now it's going to be that color just like a barren desolate planet You'll start off with probably just a landing pad and a little base and you'll have to sort of initially mine things like iron and sell them to get enough money to be able to sort of build things for processing the ores and things. Uh, that's awesome, loads of arcade games in one. Yeah, that, that that's the plan. I'm going to plan on having like, there'll be random events, you'll fly about and uh, you may get intercepted by pirates which if you do that'll either turn into turn into some form of shoot them up maybe a boss battle depending on the type of pirates that you get intercepted by planning on things like thrust as well uh, so you can like fly into the sort of centers of the planet to mine things maybe with a jetpack as well I, i've got tons of ideas floating around and 
I'm just sort of go add them in as I go along and see where it takes us. Space Invaders. Uh, yeah, I thought about it, but at the minute I've not thought of a mechanic for the game that that would work with, but don't count it out. It probably will be in there somewhere. Scope creep, I've heard of it. Well, there is no scope to this game. <laughs> I've deliberately started doing this because I feel I can get a basic game working where you're mining and collecting things and making your money. And then I feel I can just keep then just adding bits to it. So it may get released quite early and then I just keep iterating, adding different mechanics to it. That's the plan anyway. We'll see where it takes us. Hi Super Justin, thanks for dropping by. Not sure what it is, but the art looks sweet, cool, thank you. I'll give you a quick, before I start doing any coding, I'll just give you a quick overview of it. It's going to be a space mining game. This is sort of the galaxy screen, where you'll fly about and go to various things. At the minute we've only got an asteroid field working. You can go in there and mine asteroids. When you get them down to the smallest version, you get some more. Uh, so that's pretty much the, the game that we've got at the minute. We're going to be working on the home planet and creating a mechanism for landing tonight. Uh, that's really cool. Cheers. Thanks very much. Asteroids with adventure elements. Yeah, there's going to be all sorts of games. I don't know whether you hear when I was saying that, like, Lunar Lander, so that's going to be the mechanic for landing on planets. Where you'll have to control your descent and land on, like, a certain area. But that's what we're planning on doing tonight. So, let's have a new folder. Let's get some stuff done. On planet. Can probably get away for now. Making a copy of the asteroid field. Because a lot of the stuff's going to be identical. So I'll copy copy all that lot. Create an area 2D for the basing, because we don't need any physics, it's just going to be, again, triggering a pop-up to say that you can land on it. Save that. I'm going to create that folder in the galaxy. So there we have the home planet. Now let's change out this asteroid sprite for that sprite. Have a script. I'm going to copy everything from that one. I will sort this out and start using inheritance, but for now I'm just wanting to get a few things working.
feed hump on it spray did it copy all the animations over yes it did so it'll just be a case of me creating a new image for that I think because uh, what I've got with that image as well it detects whether I'm using a gamepad or uh, the keyboard so if it's a keyboard it shows the X and if it's a Xbox controller or something like that it'll display uh, the gamepad A button How's your game coming on, Super Justin? Yeah. No, last time I dropped in, it was uh, you were working on the guy running around on the planet or ground. Check what functionality that's actually copied over because I think we haven't even added it into the galaxy yet, so it's not even going to be there. For now, we'll just add it down here. Uh, good man, yeah. Uh, went back to working on level editing tools. Uh, we'll be streaming some of that later. I'll probably drop in later when you're streaming. <laughs> yeah, because the level editing stuff, I, that was really interesting how you were getting it to sort of define the uh, attack patterns. I thought that was really good. Alright, I've got a nail there. What have I not copied over? Asteroid field info. Because it's not called that anymore, is it? It's called home planet info on this one. Because I really could, could do with just separating this out into its own scene and then just reusing it and just passing in a different image each time. I think once I've got two or, f well, probably three or four different planets and asteroid things, I'll know what's got to be common between them all and that'll make it easier to split out. Right, let's give that another go, see if we get an error this time. So that pops up with that. I don't think any of the triggers will be set up. Uh, body enter, body exit, we need to set up. And copy that one over the exited one. Add the typing back in. Nick, have you got any plans to go back to finishing off the game you were working on? 
Oh, you're still really busy with other stuff. things. I forget to change everything. I want to, but I have a million things. Yeah, I know the feeling. It's, it's hard balancing stuff, isn't it? I've been wanting to do some YouTube videos again, but it just takes so much time that I just... I'm just going to have to settle for putting these streams on YouTube for now. So that's all working, and if I press X, I think it'll probably take me to the asteroid level, yeah. So that's sort of functionality is there for now. What we'll do is set up a scene for the home planet. So that'll be a 2D scene. planet scene to differentiate between the home planet. I love doing YouTube stuff. Yeah, I do, but I find that sometimes if I try and do YouTube stuff, then I don't actually get time to do any of the game dev, so it's hard to balance. Uh, but there's so much stuff I like, yeah. <laughs> the thing is, I got high demand for my time, and it's paid well, so it's hard to turn down. But all the other stuff suffers from it. Yeah, I suppose when the day job and things like that's paying the bills and it's hard to find some f time for something that's more of a hobby right what we're going to need in this we're going to need a tile map for creating the world. I just thought I've not got a tile map. So for now, I'll quickly drag it the squares in that I use for the go dot wild jam because Might get around to join some later in the stream, but I'd rather try and work on getting the functionality working a bit. Can't believe that it's good at Wild Jam again this Friday. It doesn't feel like a month since the last one started, so I think I may do that again, and if so, I'll end up streaming some of that probably next week. But I'm hoping that the uh, theme for it fits in around this space game and I can maybe make one of the mini arcade levels in the jam to sort of push me to get it pushed out. That's the plan anyway. See how it goes. Helped a team of devs integrate the blockchain stuff. Their game's called The Seventh Seal. Looking forward to see that progress as well. Yeah. Is that a presume it's a video game yet. The seventh seal. Is it out yet, Nick, or is it still to come out? Because all I get when I search for the seventh seal is some film from the 50s.
Is it a turn based strategy game? By Legacy Game Works. Sent your DM on Twitter with a link. Let's have a look. Ah, yep. That's the one that I've found, I think. Let's have a nose, eh? Uh, it's like a tile based game. Oh, it's one of these NFT things, is it then, with the... I have to say, I'm trying to stay away from anything like that because I'm still to decide whether stuff like this is legit or not. <laughs> the second paragraph has a nice shout out. Let's have a start with a you shout out to Nick Hoosters for getting us up and running with our smart contract development. I would recommend hiring Nick if you're in need of some contract work. Nice one. Always good to have people singing your praises. There's a stream of six people playing the game. I'll keep an eye on it, but I just started at the weekend uh, playing RimWorld. I know it's been out for years, but I finally started with that. So that's all I was doing at the weekend. I'm trying to stick to playing games on a weekend and game dev in the week. Uh, right, home planet scene. Sort of folder for the assets. And I'll copy this tile placeholder tile map that I've grabbed in it. Which as you'll see is literally two blocks. Still find myself having to think what I'm doing with good up. It's get, I'm getting better, but it it's still it's not totally natural yet. But good up falls out now in alpha, and uh, I had to play around with it. The Tile map editor is so much nicer in it, but there's quite a few. It's obviously only in alpha, so I don't want to start using it yet. But I think I'll definitely port this game to it as soon as it probably gets maybe into beta or something or near a release. Sixteen tiles, please. I think I need thirty-two for this game, but we'll do for now. Uh, give them a collision shape. do is just make some ground really that the player can crash into. Right, for now we shall make the player on this screen as well.
Uh, I could tell you about that stuff someday if you want. There's a big difference between the stuff on EGH and the stuff I do on wax. But let's not derail the chat. Yeah, hey, it definitely interests me, Nick. So, yeah, I'd love to for you to tell me all about that stuff because I struggle getting my head around it, to be honest. I just keep reading little clips and bits here and there, but never really fully understanding everything about it. So, yeah, that'd be great. Right, so we've got some ground there. For now, I'm going to add a player just into this scene. We'll have a kinematic body 2D. Got various player ships in this game. This will be the third type already. Collision shape. And a sprite. I will reuse the player ship for now from the other ones. How's the progress? I'd step out for like ten minutes. Uh not got that far we've i've just thrown a tile map in uh i've got the the galaxies it works the same as the asteroids the this iron thing pops up and when i press x it takes me currently to the asteroid level so i'm just creating the home planet level so that i can load that up so you've not missed a great deal to be honest Uh, I like the music you have on, been listening to so much rap, a bit of metal, it's a nice change of pace. Yeah, it's just pretzel rocks. I tend to, I prefer to have the rock channel on, on it, but I don't pay for it, so at the moment the rock channel's locked for me. It seems to randomly lock and unlock it. But when it's locked, it tends to have the metal one unlocked, so I just flick between them both. Right, I uh, need a collision shape on this. Rectangle will do for now. Straight, we were looking for, was it? I'll just. So I'm not rotating it in the engine. I'll just load that, rotate it and make a copy of it. Is it that one? Yep, I'll do. I don't like this ship anymore. I drew it sort of really quickly at the beginning and it's just what I've stuck with it. But I'm not massively impressed with it, but it'll just have to do for now till I get around to drawing another. Teed, have you been playing much of Final Fantasy? Because you did, I'm right in thinking you did get that. Uh -uh.
Uh, Yup, played for a couple of weeks. Still can't wait for Lost Ark, though. Is that Friday that's out? I'm umming and ahhing whether to get that or not. So I'm thinking, is it going to be a time sink? But Hey, Josh. I'm extremely quiet, am I? That makes a change. I will up the voice. Is that any better? Love the palette on it. Yeah, it's just a uh, palette that I've just got off low spec. I can't remember which one it is. Uh, I think it might be Journey. I tend to just look through there for palettes. Uh, so I've added a couple of colours to it, but I think it's Journey. Or maybe not. Who knows? Yeah. But yeah. It's nice to get a palette. Keeps everything consistent throughout the game then. Uh, full release Friday, early access tomorrow, I think. Yeah, right. I, I may get it. I'll, I'll wait and see. Because I've pre-ordered Elden Ring as well for... That's out end of the month, so... Add that in. Right, this player ship's going to need a script. Get rid of all that junk. I think I may be able to copy quite a bit of the logic from the asteroid ship, but just add gravity in there. That's what I'm hoping anyway. Save coding everything from scratch. Well, I'm not going to need a laser, so I'll go with a galaxy one. Cause yeah, because the asteroid's got all the wrapping stuff in, and I don't need that either, so copy that lot in. How's your game coming on, Josh? Have you got much further? gravity in this as well so we'll have gravity and we'll set that to no idea really at the minute so I'll just shove that in set the velocity y to that gravity plus equal that gravity value and we take left right first Let's put that into the middle what that actually does. Wait a sec, I need to start this scene. Well, 
that doesn't work how I wanted it. Uh, really well, I've been working on my time mechanic jam game. Oh, the one that you did with, uh, not James Acaster. Probably get it released soon. Oh, cool. Give that a good a play. Uh, what add-on do I use to show the key presses? Uh, it's one called Ridiculous Coding. Uh, it's an add-on that's written by John Watson. Uh, he's Jotson, he streams on Twitch as well. Uh, this one. Ridiculous coding. Uh, you just install it as a, an add-on from here. Uh, you just need to make sure you give it a mono font or it doesn't keep the explosions and things in the right place. Just adds a bit of gamification to the coding process. Aye, we've forked into different games now though. Oh, is he working on, is he still working on it but on a different version? If it is, that'll be good to see how you both start with one idea and how they change. Showed me what he's doing the other day and it's completely different. Aye, man. Yeah, that'll, that'll be really interesting to see that. Because you both started from the same theme, worked on the same game and then split off and... Right, I think that was probably... This has got to be more difficult than I'd quickly thought, because I wasn't going to stream tonight, I just decided... ...just before that I might as well give, this, give it a stream tonight, but... Thrust. What am I missing from the other ships that I've done? Uh, I think he's more concerned with the mobile app. Has yours gone more PC based then? So I'm getting the input, update the player position. Hey Sticks, how's it going? Uh, not really, my touch controls all still work and that, but it's really simplified his. Yeah, all right. Join me sticks because I'm just struggling to work out how to get the gravity and things working with this ship. And now for some reason it stopped even playing the scene. I 
Ah, wait a second. It's because of the rotation. Let me just play that again and get my head around what's going on. So yeah, that's the sort of movement I want. It's, it's, it's actually working, it's just my ship's right. So what I'll do, I should have just used this right that I had before. Change this one that we've added in. Let's rotate that. That should now at least look correct when I play it, so it'll work when it's that way. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'll add a sort of basic landing pad, and it'll the player will land if they sort of below a certain velocity and uh, below a certain angle either way. And if they miss the landing pad as well, they'll they'll die. Take that minus 90, is that going to just work fine? If I play the correct scene. Are you up to tonight, Sticks? That could have a T a bit more power. way too much. That feels about right. I'll do for now. So for now, let's create another sprite area 2D. Or do we want it as a physics object? Uh, go with an area 2D, I think. Collision shape. Quickly draw a square to use as a landing pad for now. That's the one thing I actually one thing I actually miss about construct sticks, the not having the built in sprite editor to be able to just throw sort of a quick shape. Pick a bit pixel art together or shape just to use as placeholder. I think I have seen an add-on that somebody's made, but
admin you're up to. Great, but that's exciting. Uh, I bet there's more you're missing too. Nah, not at all. It's the first time probably in eight years that I'm, I, I aren't actually feeling the urge to open it up. And to try and get around missing it, I'm going to see if there actually is a sprite editor that I can install. Sure, there was a good add-on add -on jam last week. I wonder, I'm sure I saw. I've seen one, so I'm wondering if it was in that. I saw it. Let's have a quick look. Oh, that Adam Jam, here we go. Now man constructs firmly in Wells Rear View mirror. <laughs> As he's driving backwards towards it. Nope, it's it's gone. I I really don't even think I'm going to renew it come August. Sprite editor add on. This is what I need, I think. Yep, I'll have a look at that and get that installed, and then that's another thing that I don't need construct for as well. For now, I will copy over that brilliant square that I've just drawn. That sprite as well. Drag the landing pad onto it. Got any news on when the next game in six is going to be sticks? So, do I want to add the collision onto the player ship? Yeah, I think I probably do. Uh, do you feel you're as comfortable with Godot as you were with Construct? Mm, nowhere near at the minute. But I had been using Construct f for roughly eight years. So it's going to take time, but I, f I feel it's getting there. I know I did the six hour jam uh, weekend before last. And probably a month, six weeks ago, there's no way I'd have been able to make anything in Godot in six weeks. So I feel it's it's coming, but it's going to take a while. I'm still having to look up an awful lot of stuff, which a lot of the basics are construct. Well, most things are construct, I don't need to. 
but I'm not going back. I don't think Sticks believes me, but... Right. Let's print out some things that are happening and then I can work out how I'm going to get these crashes to work. Teed, have you done any more game dev lately or? So it gets up to about a hundred looking at that on the way down. I've got it clamped actually at 140 so. Looking at those numbers, it needs to be probably going less than 50. If it's going more than 50, then I'll destroy it. Now I want to get back into it, but too many games I want to play coming out. Yeah, there's been a lot lately. Have you been back on New World at all lately or not? I suppose with a level being 60, there's probably been no point. I never got to level 60, I think, I, last time I played it. I think I'm just short of about 48, 49 or something, so... I was thinking of separating these out in the scenes, but I might just leave the them in here. It's easier for now to connect us with the signals. So on body entered. What did I just connect that to? Like now I'm having to look stuff up because I can't remember 100% how to do stuff. Uh, so what we'll do is add that ship to a group called player. Have a look at the rotation as well in a minute.
So it's triggering. I think I'm going to give that a kinematic body because otherwise the player's not going to land on it. Uh, so that's triggering correctly though. So that's good. Probably won't go back to New World till the expansion comes out. Now I suppose there isn't a great deal of point. It's it's a bit of a shame because I, I had a lot higher expectations of that game, but because the world's brilliantly, I just a lot of the mechanics were just broken really. I still don't like the fact of how you had to pretty much walk everywhere. So the rotation minus one fifteen or something. Maybe allow a twenty degree rotation each way. Game Jam in Game in Six Jam should start in the next couple of weeks, but we also have Game Jam 192 episode 3 starting on the 15th of April. Oh, we can cram a, a couple of six hour ones in before then. What's that? How many weeks away is that? It's about nine, ten weeks, something like that. Right. So let's get the player chip die in. Minus is greater than minus seventy. Let's have a spell degrees. Lost that pre download is on Steam now. I'm going to try and play it casually and get back to streaming game dev. Yeah. Enjoyed your game dev streams to eat, so I've enjoyed your, your game playing streams as well. Right, so that works. Still works. That shouldn't work. Uh, 
Right. So there, that's 90, that's fine. Minus 134, yep, that should destroy it. Well, that broke because I've spelt degrees wrong, so is that what's causing it totally to not work? It's greater than minus 70. Assuming it's not getting in there. Fool. It's never going to be both, is it, at the same time? Oh, stupid pills. <laughs> yeah, that's better. Check it still works when it's upright. That's fine. Come in at a silly angle, it'll kill you. change that to a kinematic body though because disconnect that uh, change type Don't get a collision of a kinematic 
Party. Uh, I'm gonna have to give it an area 2D for the collision. Check what happens now. Right, so yeah, that I've got the the basic sort of mechanic there working. Uh, I think that's all I'm going to stream tonight. Uh, probably stream Wednesday night again, maybe get some of the artwork done for the actual level. Uh, but let's have a look who is uh, to raid. Uh, we'll go give Vulcan Storm a raid. Uh, but thanks everyone for dropping by. Uh, Nick, Tahid, Sticks, Josh. Uh, Super Justin, uh, it's been nice having you all in and chatting, uh, so we will go raid Vulcan Storm, who's not sure what he's working on tonight, he, he's working on a penguin game, but whether he's on that tonight or not, I don't know. So thanks everyone for stopping by and I will catch you all later.